hello friends welcome to my channel today we will be learning lambda function so lambda function is just like a normal python function except that it has no names it's an anonymous function and it contains one line of code it's, it's a very powerful function and it's very interesting to know this function so let's get started When you don't need those functions to anymore okay so lambda functions are one-time anonymous functions that you don't need more than once so you just create it and and the python interpreter just destroy it so there are two important properties of lambda function so they are very useful when you are using them once unlike the other function that you create and when you want to use those functions again and again, that means the code inside that function you want to run again and again. So uh, when you want to run the code only once, then always go for the Lambda function. That's one of the property. The other properties are they are anonymous as we use them. So we don't need to name them for this function and don't need to store them in the memory. That's why Python name them as an anonymous function so there is no name for this function and python doesn't store them in the memory as well so the interpreter just goes through that execute it and move to the next line so let's see how that works so let's add some description so lambda function okay and if you see so uh, lambda so you define the param here param or argument and then the expression so what it does is uh, it takes the parameter and apply the exception expression on that and then return the result so let's see this with some simple example so let's start with simple example uh, so let's say uh, you have a function and then you it's a simple function where you need to just add five to this so let's say uh, this is the parameter i define and then it returns uh, x plus five okay so there is a small function that is defined so what i'm doing here is i will uh, create a lambda function that when we want to use a lambda function run it once so how can we rewrite this function using a lambda function so if i just need to run this so what i do is add five and then i will just pass the pattern uh, argument as five and it will return the result as 10 okay now let's implement this implementing our function using lambda okay so what we have to do is, as I mentioned here, L A M P T lambda, and then we have to define a uh, give a parameter. So let's say similarly, like where we are passing in this as a parameter. So say x, and then what expression I just want to add five to this, and then uh, when it returns, we want to store it somewhere. So let's say I'm storing that in a variable a, and then when I just return pass five to this, so what it will do is uh, five will be passed here, and then it will pass to this expression and then return the result a five. Uh, so pretty simple. So I just did that with one parameter, so lambda expression can have as many parameters. So let's do that with two parameters. So let's say I have lambda and then x comma y two parameters and then let's say i want to multiply those so now let's store this in some variable and then let's pass uh, y comma three let's say and then it will multiply those and return three so that's with two parameters you can have many parameters so let's see that how we can do that if we have to pass that with some iterable 
So basically we have, we want to loop over some items one by one. So basically let's say we have a list or we have a set. So how we can use the Lambda function in that case. So let's start with, uh, let's say we have a function uh, where we want to multiply by three. Multiply by three and then we pass an item. So what I'm doing here is uh, I will show how map is used for this function. Uh, if you haven't see, seen my map video, map, reduce and uh, filter function. So uh, you can go back to my channel and then there is a video for all these functions in very detail and descriptive way. So I'm just quickly going through, okay, if I want to use a, if I have a map and I'm want to run this code only once so let's say what i'm doing here is i just multiply by three and then i want to use a map so let's say how the map function is map and then you define the function name here so as it mentioned you define the function name so my function name is multiply by three and then you define the list also so let's say i create a list my list and my list is one two three four okay and i just pass this list so what map will do is map will take one item at a time and then pass this to function and then return the value uh, but the map with this expression it will return the memory location of the map so we want to convert this into list as well so i'll just say list Okay, if I run this, wonderful. So it multiply each item one by one pass to this. So each item is picked up from this list. It is passed to this function and then it returned and then store that in the list. So let's see how we can do that with a Lambda function. So we just need to copy this. Okay, let's copy this. And then instead of this whole function, we will use a Lambda. So lambda and then we have to define uh, we have to define the variable here so let's say x here or let's say item item and then we have to define item into three okay and then uh, let's run this Okay, let's copy this function here and then uh, let's remove this function. Now this time we will be running this with Lambda. So what we have to do is just define the Lambda function and then we will have a param as an item and then we will item into three. So now we don't need to have this whole function. It can be gone and then once we run this, it will loop through uh, each of the values so how to read at this so it will take one item at a time from this list and then it will be passed as a parameter and then it will multiply by three and then store in the list so similar way how the map function was running but this time we don't need a function here so let's see we have similar way to do for a filter also let's go quickly through a filter as well so let's say I define a function to check whether a value is divisible by two. Okay. And then I will just pass the item here. And then here what I say is return item what you want two then equal to zero. So if I just want to see how that works so using the filter so what i'll do here is instead of this i'll have filter and instead of this function i'll have this function so what it is doing here is 
it will filter down so it will take this value and then pass it to this function and it will filter the values so uh, it will check whether it's divisible by two or not if it is true then it will keep that in the list if it is not it will take it out so let's see how we can do that by lambda function so we don't need to create a function here so what we will do here is lambda and then add height and then item module 2 equal to 0 okay let's run this similar result so you can see that it's a very powerful function and then we don't need to have the function created every time when we don't want the code to run again and again when we just want the code to run once and just after that destroy that so in that case you don't need to go for creating a function explicitly just create a lambda function and uh, in that case you make your code also clean and then you don't need to have the function created so this is all about the lambda function i hope you learned something and thanks for watching